In the times before Noah, when angels cast their eyes upon the mortal women and descended upon them full of lust and evil, few could predict that it was only the beginning of the end. For when the women gave birth with the tainted seed, they did not deliver angels, no, but something hideous, terrifying, wicked. These were not the beautiful faced angels they had come to know, but destructive beasts that not even their angelic fathers wished to raise. And who's to say fatherhood would have made such a difference? For these beasts, these monsters, these giants as they were, were hell-bent on destroying the world, consuming its food, and tearing apart anyone who stood in their way. But to say they were devoid of all goodness would be wrong, for at least one among them considered their actions, one amongst them deliberated against right and wrong, one amongst them beheld the visions of a holy higher power. Marwe, he was called, but would the doubt of his brother's violent actions be enough to atone for the monstrosities that were committed? Could entrusting the human known as Enoch be the key to their salvation? Or would the giants be made to face the furies of the fires all the same?